Uh, we've got the smoker lit and we have uh, got the fire brewing up in there. So it's all getting ready to go. Uh, only just lit it. So that's just going to uh, crank, get that fire crank and get it nice and hot in there. And we're going to kick off with our little outdoor cooking session for the uh, fall cook off. So we're going to have a bit of a crack at that and see how we go. So we don't even know what we're cooking yet. We're just going to um, decide after we heat up the smoker and we'll get it started. Radio, we've made a choice on what we were going to do, and we've got this beautiful slab of beef brisket there. Check that out, and that is what we're going to cook in the smoker today. So, we've just got a uh, commercial one done there. These are pretty good little uh, grill mate, uh, the barbecue rub. So, it's a good little mixture of herbs and spices ready to go. A little bit of oil in a spray bottle ready to go. The smoker. Has got the little fire going in there, and that's uh, starting to warm up. If I just grab a pair of tongs and get into there like that, check that out. Yep, that's all ready to go. So we'll get this up and get it all ready to go here. So we just check it into there, and we'll just spray a bit of oil over the top. We've also got a bit of uh, aluminium foil there to put over the top of it for a bit. Plenty of oil on there. There's plenty of juices and stuff inside it. And um, we'll get this rub rubbed in and get it covered and into the uh, into the cooker. So there's our little mixture of stuff and we'll just uh, make sure that we rub that over so that it comes up nice and uh, make sure that it's all rubbed in all the way around. It's just got plenty all the way around it. And um, there's plenty in one of these little packs for a small bit of brisket like this. And Yeah, there's plenty on there. And the sides. It's all into there. Beautiful. Packed it in. A little bit more oil over the top because we love oil. Fat is flavour. All good to go. So we'll get that wrapped up and be all good to go. We've got that foil ready to go on top of there. So it's uh, just going to seal it up now. I've got my uh, little water bottle there. And I'm just going to tip some water in, just so we've got a little bit of extra fluid in there. There you go. That'll give it a bit of a steam up and let it stew away in there while we're um, getting it nice and tender and be all good to go. There we go. We've got the uh, aluminium foil put over the top of that and it's all ready to go. And uh, just making sure that it's all sealed around the edges and it's all good to go. That's sealed in. And we're ready to put that into the smoker. So we'll just whip over here and open him up. We should have a pair of tongs here somewhere. Where are they over here? There they go. It's a pair of tongs there. And I can whip that up. Plenty of smoke in there. Look at that. Beautiful. Kicking up just nice. And um, I've got in my little trivet that I made in there out of railway spikes and a... Um, that's a, a stainless steel rack that we use for char grilling on the Wooshka. Uh, that's actually the uh, Weber brand one. Uh, they're the, probably the best one out there. And the smoker is actually a old gas tank out of a car. So there we go. That's my dad actually made that one. So we got there. We got our, trying to do all this with one hand is a bit silly. But we should put that into there. Let that get some juices flowing through it. Get some nice little warmth and heat in there. And that little fire will warm that up. We'll get that shut up and it's all good to go. There we go. We are cooking and uh, we're keeping it as simple as possible. Like seriously, anybody can do this. Um, you can do this in the oven at home. You can do it in a pizza oven. You can do it in a smoker. You can do whatever. But if you have a smoker, you can finish it off with some beautiful uh, smokes and timbers. Uh, just to be clear on this one too, we're actually not using this as a smoker for this part of the cook. So we're just using the radiant heat. Um, we've got it on full flow. We can shut that down if we want to and use the radiant heat, uh, which will go through the, through the smoker section there. And um, just using that to bake that beef brisket and get a little bit of um, tenderness to it. It'll be in there for quite a few hours and we'll just keep that fire nice and warm, keep it nice and hot in there, and uh, then we'll uh, take it out and 
get some smoke into it because fat is flavor, but so is smoke. So great way to cook. Now we have a lot of smoke coming out of this smoker at the moment. And uh, here's a little trick that I use uh, just for checking temperatures inside. Obviously the fire's at this end and there's nothing down this end. The smoke's obviously coming out here. But if you want to check the temperature, um, firstly, you can put your hand on and touch. But if it's too hot, you're going to burn yourself. So that's like just, just on, if I put my hand there for any significant time, it's going to burn. The other thing I do is use a water bottle. This is my little water bottle that I use all the time. And if we just uh, choose over where your meat is or where your, whatever you're cooking is, and if we just uh, tip that onto there, we'll see there that it is holding heaps of heat. It's drying out pretty quickly. And as it comes down lower, it takes slower to, um, to disappear. So that means there's plenty of heat down to about there and the brisket's sitting about there. So it's sitting just on that level and you can actually work it out just visually with a little bit of water. Oh, the smell out here is absolutely beautiful. Now, with heaps of heat in there at the moment. Now we're just gonna have a little bit of a check here to uh, check the inside and make sure that we've got enough water still in there. We don't want to uh, break the tin foil too much because we want to be able to seal it up again. And that's what we call an absolute dismal fail right there. <laughs> um, Right, yeah. Pop him open there a little bit. We can see the steam coming out there, and that's uh, starting to that's actually steaming up beautiful in there. There we go. And we can see a bit of beef brisket coming up beautiful in there. That's um, starting to get nice and tender. So we'll seal that over. I might put another bit of uh, stuff over that and whack a bit more water in there. That's um, a little look into here. There's our... Whoa! <laughs> okay. There's um, quite a bit of heat in there. Now we're going to try to get this out without burning myself. Do you want me to stand back? Oh, you're right. I, Are you... <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing at the moment. Um, let's try it with this. We're going full on dodgy, so. Rodgy dodgy? Rodgy dodgy. There we go. Head over to here. And we'll um, take a look in here. Take off our little layers of this. And just check how this is going. Oh, you can smell it. Smelly vision. There we go. Check it out. And we've got a little bit of. Um, Smoky dokey here. Oh, look at that. That is just absolute fall apart. So what we might do is, just while it's there, while all those juices are there, we'll... Um, <laughs> the wind's picking up. All those there. We'll put that back into here. Look at that. We'll try not to drop it on the ground because that would be just upsetting to everybody. Mainly me because, you know, this is dinner. <laughs> Do you like our food, don't we, babe? <laughs> there we go. So it's on a bit of an angle there, but nothing I can really do about it at this point. Put him up like that, and we'll close this up and give it a smoke going in there. There we go. There we go. There we go. And we'll get a little bit of smoke going in there. I'll get some fancy wood chips, eh? Sounds like a great idea. Now we've got this little packet of uh, wood chips here. Now these are all fancy ones. It's apple, cherry and mystique. Um, so just in lots of them there. So we've got a little mixture of timbers and the smell of them. You can actually smell the timber. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, behind the camera. Oh, wow. I just filmed your chest, I think. <laughs> that That's was all good. right. It's <laughs> worth it. <laughs> I'm a right sexy here. man. <laughs> Oh anyway, yeah, so we're just going to throw some of these straight in on those coals in there. Yep. And we'll crank that smoke up a bit because this is like a mixture. And if we wanted to, we could actually rip some off that grape wine and dry it out, which when we're trimming the grapes this year, down there like that, 
into there, straight on the coals. And then I'll grab my little um, pliers there and we'll shut this down. Oh. Down to there. Oh, that wind's picking up. Yep. Let that shut down. It'll breathe from the side. And uh, we can see the smoke start to shoot out that chimney. And that smoke will, just from that there alone. Whee. There you go. Let's, let's do it. Let it do its magic and go and finish feeding some animals. Let's go. Rightio, it is 6.30 at night and this has been on since about 11 o'clock this morning. So we're going to uh, crack open the smoker now and see how we go. See what our end up, ended up product's like. And that is looking absolutely wonderful. What do you reckon, babe? Smells incredible. Okay, we're going to even do there like that. So we've got a tray there. And we can shut that up again. Let's watch that. Just because it's doing two things at once is what blokes are good at. <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go. So there, that's onto there like that. And I'll just um, grab a pair of these. There you go. Now we're gonna get into this, are we babe? Mm -hmm. And we've got some veggies cooked yep. inside. That's just mellowed out into there and i've got a knife here and some tongs now how are we going to do this bub i don't know i'm just trying to work it how about i go <laughs> how about i go across here like this yeah now this is with the grain so we're cutting the wrong way there oh. but if we flip that open there we've got a beautiful bit of beef brisket that wow. is looking yummy as so and we go across this grain down here like this look at this i'm not even pushing that knife i'm just letting it Slide Slice. through. <laughs> Slide. <laughs> Look at that. It's falling apart. It's so yummy. Oh, let's um let's just break it up like that. Get it all going. Let's have a taste test. What do you reckon? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, you get your grotty little fingers off it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, between change, no, literally between uh, flipping the camera around then so that we could use it. Somebody Are you dubbing on me? <laughs> Somebody was having some. a go. If you could smell this, you'd be straight into it too. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we going to have a go? Here it is here. Have a look. There um, we go. Mmm, beef brisket. Now, we're going to grab a little bit there. Alfie's scared gonna, of it. You're going to grab a bit? Um, yeah. Into it? I was going to get a really mm -hmm. big bit. Mm -hmm. Grab a little bit. Here we go. Okay, you ready? Yep. Go. Oh, so good. <laughs> oh, I've my life. <laughs> oh man, that is fall apart, tender, beautiful. That's so good. That mm. is delicious. Those flavours coming through. Mm. Beautiful. With the barbecue rub, I know it's only commercial rub, but it's such a good little mix. And um, to buy all the stuff for it would be way more expensive than the. I think it. I think it's a dollar. It's something that it's packet cheap and this of is, mix. Yeah. yeah. Wow, um, this but, is beautiful. Man, that's that's good. Get out of it. <laughs> you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, man, <laughs> I've got nothing. It's good. I'm gonna have another go too. What do you reckon? I think we should have dinner. Yeah, I think it's dinner time. There's none of this waiting, is there? There's none of this left tonight, is there? Oh man, I should have cooked the whole brisket, shouldn't I? <laughs> no, because then we'd eat it all. <laughs> oh, that's so good. This is delicious. Okay, right, dinner time. Mm. Right, we've sliced all that up and it is just beautiful. What do you reckon, Nettie? <laughs> it is amazing. You just it had really the end is. piece, didn't you? I did, and oh, it's so delicious. You have no idea. And we've got our, look at this, we've got sweet potato chips and we've got some broccoli and carrots and corn and a little, little bit of uh, sauce and gravy to go on it mm -hmm. and all ready to go so let's get some on there what do you reckon bud just use I your fingers i didn't just, bring the tongs out so just use your fingers get it on in there i'm gonna do that and that's gonna be me i think how's that for you look at that beautiful i'll tell you what if you don't like that as a meal there is something wrong with you and we do we love it so <laughs> it's so good what do you reckon babe into it yeah i think so let's go let's go have dinner <laughs> 
So everybody, please like, please subscribe, and we will see you all in the next one from Silhouette Park Farm. Bye, guys. Bye.